what we would like to do with flexible glass is deliver the quality of touch you can get on a sheet glass process today on a roll-to-roll -roll process, which is high throughput and low cost. What we're saying is with the flexible glass, you can use the low cost manufacturing process as the roll-to-roll -roll process and basically have the same quality even in a handheld device. Inherently, if you look at uh, properties of glass versus properties of plastic, a couple of things that will stand out. One is uh, plastic is not quite as clear as glass is. Two is plastic cannot stand very high temperature, uh, glass can. And the relevance to that uh, reference is that when you're making touch sensors, the materials that you're putting in, which is transparent oxide, conducting oxides on top, higher the temperature, better they are in terms of transparency, color, and uh, low power. And, and the point here is why one uses glass and why one uses plastic. When you're looking at relatively larger screens, so let's say 12 inch screens and so on, and you want to enable touch, clarity, transparency, and the performance is very, very important. The touch industry today, the, the growth is really in uh, touch for smartphones and tablets. And there's two ways to make a touch panel for, that, uh, for those applications. One is to use uh, flat glass sheets in a, uh, a batch process where you're feeding them into a photolithography tool and creating the, the electronic patterns. There's another method where you can take a polymer film and process it, uh, process the electronics through a roll-to-roll -roll process. And this creates a lower quality film, but it's very low cost. We have this, this fusion process core competency that we've been using to make high quality electronic substrates for 25 years. The thing that we're leveraging now as we get thinner and thinner is our glass reliability understanding from optical fiber. And so we're really taking those two technology competencies and bringing them together to create a product that has never existed before. And what we're doing is working with the customers to really share that knowledge with the customer. So enabling them to use their existing process with our material. Benefits of flexible glass beyond touch. I mean, um, it's really left up to your imagination. Okay. I mean, you can envision any place where you need uh, surface quality, where you need transparency, or where you need barrier in terms of barrier to moistures and uh, oxygen. Our current product uh, concept is 0.1 millimeters, so 20% uh, of the thickness of a standard display glass substrate that we would sell today. Frankly, we don't know how thin the fusion process can go, but we have lots of programs going on in research because we realize you can't be too thin and you can't be too strong. So we're, we're going to continually push the envelope of our, of our manufacturing process and our glass technology to, to find the limits. In fact, there may be some um, advantages that you get when you go thinner in terms of uh, defect levels or, um, or the ability to, to cut the glass with low stress. Um, so the fusion process is really designed to go thin and we are following the process where it wants to go.